introduction. Yeah, hi everybody, my name is Chad Moore and I am the new director of Path to Your Purpose here at Bethany, which is a, a new position where we're gonna be operationalizing a lot of the, the parts of the strategic plan that the Bethany community and the alumni and folks here in town have been working with President Malk over the last year, or year or two years to put together and really excited to kind of put some flesh on the bones of that program. Yeah, so right now I am in the dissertation phase for my PhD. I'm uh, doing a PhD in religious studies where I work on the history of American religion and economics, actually. And so working on a PhD in that, but I have a master's degree as well from Boston University. And during the last few years of my PhD, I've gotten back into student affairs work, which I started in undergrad working as an RA. Second semester of my freshman year, did that all through sophomore year. It's a long story of how all that came about. but. And then uh, in the last couple of years, I've been working in residence life at Boston University and College of the Holy Cross, supervising student staff, doing program creation, a lot of different you know, aspects of student affairs work, and um, learned a lot doing that. And so I have kind of you know, one foot in the classroom, one foot on the student affairs side of the college, and working in both of those worlds, this position in many ways is kind of blending those two things, and I, it's a perfect fit for um, what I've been doing the last few years and kind of my educational background and passion. Yeah, um, I think a, a strength of mine is I, I just, I like to work with other people, and I, and I feel like I try to approach every situation I can with curiosity and with a willingness to learn from others, and to build partnerships and collaborations and to work together with folks. And I, I tend to find that I, there aren't a lot of people that I just can't work with yeah. at all. <laughs> and, and I think that's a strength and, and uh, also coming to Bethany and getting to work in this position, it'll be a lot of doing that kind of stuff of finding partners here and building and creating and sustaining relationships. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, so real quick. So I do have a connection to Bethany that is a funny connection that I didn't even put together until I had already been been looking at this job and talking with uh, with um, you know now Provost Pryor and President Malkin, and turns out that my undergraduate philosophy professor who was really the first person to give me the chance to kind of get up in front of a classroom and teach and I get to serve as a teaching assistant in the philosophy department there was the head of the philosophy department here at Bethany before he came to my college in Texas so Brian Yorton shout out to Brian he was a wonderful wonderful instructor and a, a close friend and colleague of our professor John Mullen here as well so so getting to know Brian, I got a little bit of that Bethany spirit throughout my time in undergrad in Texas, and I'm really excited to be here and, you know, hopefully continuing contributing to, to that legacy as well. That is good. Yeah, that I, I, there's a lot of things <laughs> I would say. You know, this past summer, Kendra Holtmore, my wife, has been, for the last few years, like really got into backpacking and did all of the research and has this extremely detailed spreadsheet of every piece of gear we have down to the like tenth of an ounce to, to sort of fit in the ultralight backpacking category. So this past summer we, we got really into backpacking and we've been into hiking and our the, the crown jewel of this past summer was doing, um, it's about a 36 mile trail called the Pemi Loop where you do eight 4,000 foot mountains in New Hampshire and it was a blast and we did it in three days with a couple of friends and so that's the thing that I'm uh, like itching to do now that we're here is to maybe get out to Colorado and do some that. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll speak to, I'll say that if we are successful <laughs> in, uh, in, in sort of bringing to life the vision that I've had a chance to spend a lot of time with President Malk talking about, some of the things that I would really like to see is to have deeper and more meaningful conversations around campus of preparing students not only to be productive employees in a labor force, but also responsible and thoughtful and wise citizens of a participatory democracy, right? And if we're thinking about the mission of higher education, if all we're doing is job prep, then I'm not sure that we justify being the institution we are, but that's not what we're called to do necessarily entirely. We're, we're called to create citizens, to create people who can go out into the world and make a difference. and. So we both want to provide students with really meaningful, hands-on experience in the workforce that they can translate into their resume, that they can speak intelligently about in an interview, but also that they are understanding more holistically the role of who they are and where they fit in society and how they can make that a more just and more robust place where people can thrive. 
So I think that's that's kind of the vision is we're hoping to both create more robust engagement in the workforce prior to graduation, but also a deeper understanding of who you are and how you can contribute to creating a better society. Yeah, as a student myself, that sounds really good. So thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, absolutely. Happy to be here. <laughs>